said, be very afraid. Be afraid. It's the end of our days. Heard what I said now. God put me on earth to bring this motherfucker straight down. Everybody dead now. Everybody dead. Ladies and gentlemen. I just saw on Instagram the teaser trailer for the Sonic spin-off series known as Knuckles and I gotta say to you guys, I am super on board for this series. I also want to put out that there is going to be a Sonic 3 film and you have all of the top of the line people that were a part of the first and second film reprising their roles for the third one so that does in fact include the main man himself the legendary jim carrey ladies and gentlemen he will be back to basically reprise the role of dr eggman slash dr robotnik that is really really cool the voice actor for knuckles Idris elba he will be returning to reprise the role of knuckles so that is awesome as well and then of course for the spin-off series it will be the same voice actor, Utris Elba, again. I am 100% sure that I'm pronouncing his name wrong, but you guys know exactly who I'm talking about. The Black Superman. <laughs> oh, man. I watched too many movies. Anyway, if you got that reference, let me know down in the comment section. Smash the like button and subscribe to my channel if you guys are new here watching for the very first time. So one thing I want to say about this spin-off series is that it's featuring my favorite character of the Sonic universe, and that happens to be Knuckles. Now, the second thing that I want to tell you guys is that this is going to exist in the same continuity of the first two films. This is directly after the sequence events of Sonic 2. So that is really, really cool, and the fact that it's going to be easy for everyone to follow is also cool as well because when it comes down to you know movies and then spin-off series and you know these uh, TV shows and stuff like that you can get lost in the terms of trying to connect timelines and you know what things mean so the fact that they're just keeping everything together is really really dope now as I mentioned this is following up from the events of Sonic 2 so I would highly suggest that you guys go ahead and go watch the movie if you didn't but if you did and you don't understand what's going on now, let's talk about it. So they end up defeating Robotnik and they save the world, right? Now, Knuckles has this option. He could stay on Earth and, you know, live out the rest of his days here. Or he can go ahead and go back to wherever it is that he came from because Sonic still has the rings and he can basically uh, portal anywhere and send Knuckles back to where he came from. So, according to the trailer, it seems as if he decides to stay on Earth. He starts to live with uh, a human, and this guy name is Wade, and he's basically not in the best shape of his life, and Knuckles is there as his, like, his commanding presence, his guide, to basically get this guy off his ass and make him into a formidable warrior. But the thing is this, he's not a warrior, you feel me? So they're going to bump heads. They're not going to be two peas in the pot that are going to work together well. This is going to be a love and hate relationship, and I'm just down for it. Just to see, you know, Knuckles in all of his true form and all of his glory is going to be really, really exciting. And let's not forget Knuckles' powers, ladies and gentlemen. He has the speed that matched um, Sonic. I still want to say that Sonic is way faster, but you can see that in the first film, he was able to keep up with Sonic, but also he has this sort of like super strength. And then of course he has these oversized fists that can literally deal a lot of damage. And speaking of damage, we've seen a lot of things being damaged in the trailer. So that means that he's going to be getting into a massive amount of trouble. And let's talk about the trouble because he has some trouble coming after him. Now we get a sort of like, I want to say like a deja vu kind of moment, a history repeating itself, if you will. But this time around, Sonic is not the one that's in trouble. It's actually Knuckles. So Dr. Robotnik has these henchmen out here, and there could be plenty of henchmen all over the world. We just haven't seen them, but so far they're starting to surface, and it's getting very, very scary for any uh, intruders on Earth, basically. So... He has these henchmen that are out here and they're after the powers of Knuckles. Now, of course, 
you know, you get a call back to the first film where uh, Sonic meets Knuckles and, you know, that interaction goes on where Knuckles says, does it look like I need your power? So that kind of, you know, gets replayed, but this time it's from a different perspective. And of course, they already have um, Knuckles power. They have a sample of him, but they kind of need more samples so that way they can fully weaponize themselves and probably reach, ha you know, wreak havoc once again on the Earth. Now, while we may, you know, we may not, excuse me, while we may not see Dr. Robotnik here on the screen and everything like that, he could still be, you know, behind the scenes just working and just not in the main picture. You feel me? So I feel as if he could be working with these henchmen. And I do believe that this guy that is targeting Knuckles, he could be like one of the top um, mechanics for Dr. Robotnik because we always knew from like, you know, comics and animations back in the day and stuff like that, that he has always worked by himself, doing things himself. And then eventually he starts building these robots that start building other robots. And basically he gets to relax just a little bit and start commanding the robots to do his bidding. So now that it is like officially confirmed that he has henchmen out there, there could be so many people underneath the wing of Dr. Robotnik and to reach that level of villainy is just really, really cool. You know what I'm saying? As far as a live action aspect goes, this is really, really exciting. Thrills and chills are running up my spine every time I think about, you know, the possibilities of what, you know, of what Dr. Robotnik could do next. <laughs> So just imagine he went after Nuck, you know, he went after Sonic. Now he's going after Knuckles. Tails could be the next thing, you know? Maybe he has a taste for trying to fly. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he might grow his own fox tails and start flying around. Who knows? This man is diabolical and he's willing to do whatever it takes to get his samples and that is going to be trouble for the family that they formed now, you know? So Knuckles is in trouble. They're trying to isolate him and separate him from his friends because from the trailer, they stated that since Knuckles, you know, is kind of like a loner, he is, you know, basically by himself. So he's kind of like he's out and open. So we could go out there and it's open season on his ass, basically what they're trying to state. So that's when, you know, uh, Sonic and Tails, they'll kind of tap in a little bit. But I do believe that the series is mainly focused on the character of Knuckles. So they probably won't have that much screen time. So we're going to get the relationship between Knuckles and Wade because they're going to be living together. We're going to see how he has adapted to living on Earth, you know. Um, and then we're going to see the interactions between the three heroes. So that is once again Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles. Now, one thing I do want to see, you know, as far as this universe is developing, I want to see them explore this universe and have other characters, you know, sort of like breaching in every time they use like one of these Sonic rings or something like that. Maybe Star Fox can appear. Maybe uh, Donkey Kong, or we can get like a live action Mario making an appearance in the Sonic universe. That's kind of what I want to see, and that's kind of what I want for them to do with these uh, next up, you know, up and coming projects and stuff like that. It'll really, really be cool. Or even Donkey Kong, you know, you can make it very, very easy and start with Donkey Kong or something like that. Um, but that is it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, this is of the same continuity as the first two films. So if you didn't get a chance to see them, go ahead and watch them. They should be available on Paramount Plus. And speaking of Paramount Plus, that's when, uh, that's where, excuse me, the series of Knuckles is going to be uh, streaming, and it will start in April. As far as I'm concerned, so far there's only one season, and I do believe that it is maybe six to eight episodes long. I could be wrong about that. Once they release more information, I'll update this video in the comment section and let you guys know. But for now, that's going to be it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.
wanna make my mama proud of me. I hope my mama proud of me. Cause I dumped college just so I could focus on a dream. I know my mama died of me, salute me, nasty down with me. Now two bros going back and forth, sibling rivalry. Who the sky gotta be? Do numbers like the lottery. The coldest every winter, every summer, nothing hot as me. And if I spring up, build my nigga on the side of me. Ready for a war?